Welcome to Thousand Trails Colorado River in Columbus, Texas. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. Ain't that the truth? As you come down the road from turning into Colorado River, Thousand Trails, you are going to see a check-in to the right side. So as you turn in, you are going to keep right going around these trees. Pull on over to the Welcome Center. There is also an activity center. So here they lay out your mail and you can come look for it. Check out this library. You got a lot of books. You have your laundry facility here. Cute little playground by the laundry center along with a picnic table so um, not only can you do your laundry but if you have young children you can put it in and allow them to play they did host a hot dog and hamburger cookout the other day there is also a horseshoe pit and they said that the activities and library um, and other things were going into this old farmhouse for a while when they renovate the welcome center at the front the dog park has been moved in front of the activity and welcome center but it looks like a nice little dog park so there's a beautiful new pond also new 50 amp sections full hookups um, they are an upgrade so if you're a thousand trails member um, they will cost you ten dollars extra and as you can see there's lots of rvs taking advantage of the upgraded sites and along with the upgraded sites we have a brand new bathroom there are some nice new water fountains here. It still has the new smell. There's even a nice changing station. Three bathroom stalls, and like I said, it's really nice and clean and new. Fresh smelling. <laughs> that freshly built. I don't usually take the shower in the bathhouses. So this makes me want to come in here and do that. The new section is really pretty and a great place to have a picnic overlooking the pond. One single lone picnic table right off the little peninsula into the pond. It's pretty cute. I feel like I'm at a bird show. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave before they wanna fly down and snack on me for on me for lunch. They do have a boat ramp. A little muddy getting down here, but a place you can launch your kayaks. So I'm starting to sink a little bit. I'm not going to be like Peyton. Check out the link above after this video, and you'll see a video um, where Peyton did not stop. But here is um, they have some grills on all the different corners of the pad. Lots of picnic tables and kind of like a little stage area. So definitely a pretty cool social place. So this is your mini golf. It's pretty huge. They look like they're pretty well taken care of. Par one. Not too bad. This putt-putt um, course, or miniature golf, whatever you choose to call it, is absolutely huge compared to some. And um, it's intermingled amongst a little grove of pecan trees. So I don't know about Fred, but I really like this setup. Um, we've seen it a couple times before. There's actually a propane tank that you can drop off your bottles on the left. There are two dump stations. And after you dump or before you dump, depending on how you come in this way, because it is a horseshoe, you can uh, dump your trash. Pretty cool setup. What do you think, Fred? It's a dump and pump. Back here in the primitive section, there are more pecan trees picnic tables. Um, there's a little bit of water back here and some grills. You can also see the river from the primitive area. And there is a rocky. Thought we'd take her back here. We don't get her out as often as we want yet, but uh, stay tuned. You have a pretty nice basketball court, don't you think, Fred? Yep. You ready to go shoot some hoops? Let's go. Let's go. Got your pickleball courts. Well, it looks like they even got a uh, like a soccer net over there. Mm -hmm. You don't see that too much. It's a cute little pool area. I do believe they're going to be doing some construction here. There's your bathhouse here. 
actually I was very impressed coming into the bathhouse in the pool. It has a very clean smell and cleaner than most um, other bathrooms I've been into. Oh, oh nope, <laughs> it's cold. It's definitely cold. Okay, I mean it's doable by a child. Make sure you shower before going into that pool or spa. And look, we have a little Anai. There's Fred getting ready to test out that spa. He has his flamingo. He always loves his pink flamingos. Hot tub flamingo. So oh, yeah, it feels very bath watery today. Colorado River Thousand Trails Pool. Oh, Thousand Trails Spa is bath water. It's so like many other Thousand Trails, there is a storage section. What I like about this storage section the best is right beside it, there is a fishing pond and you can fish here. So this is our site. We are in site E, which is the new section. Very big spot, new picnic tables, new um, fire rings. And nice full 50 amp hookup. Nice new breakers. Here we go. We're back in the uh, in the wet bay. We've got our dump outlet, and this is our gray gray tank knife blade. We've replaced it with a brand new one, and uh, had a little trouble getting this in there. First time I did it. The, uh, the little gaskets got all bunched up and so I had some leakage so when I would open this uh, it would it would flood out now this is the pipe from the gray tank that's the gray tank up there and this is hooked right to it comes down and as, as I was pulling this apart this whole piece just snapped off and came off in my hands because you know, obviously these screws weren't in at that time and put some acetone on the rag. Try to keep the glove hand with the acetone. That stuff's nasty. So this will soften up the plastic and it'll do a good job at decreasing. What we got here is um, JB Weld. This is the marine weld. And uh, when you're doing something like your gray tank, even your black tank, you want something that doesn't mind water. This stuff doesn't mind water. If you've never used this stuff, it's actually pretty simple. You take this cap, this one's not used, so you twist it and then pull on it. Set that aside. And I'm gonna try to only use half. And uh, what it does, it dispenses it evenly. That should be enough. Oh, and a little tab to grow on. And then once again, usually you open something like this, it's like super glue. It's good for one use. That's why they put them in. Mix it up. Flashlight ready to go. Ah. It's already starting to thick up, thicken up. And this little piece of pipe that I added to it, that's going to make sure it's centered right on the hole to make like a key. Messy stuff. It's going to thicken up here as we go. Not to worry, we hope. You got 10 seconds. This stuff don't mess around. So I'm going to use the, the water valve as my pivot point. And then push it up. You probably didn't see that. That's okay. Can you see in there? I don't think so. 
So I'm just going to sit here the rest of the night and just hold this. Uh, about 3 o'clock, could you bring me out some coffee, baby? Sure. So I took the uh, JB water weld putty, I've mixed it all up together, and I've made this uh, rope, which should be long enough, and I'm going to go smash it up against there. So I've taken the putty, wrapped it around the nozzle twice, and now I'm going to massage it in and try to get it as flat and wide as possible. And that should add it to some extra support. Okay, there you go. Now I'll just wait an hour, and then I'll check on it then. It was actually looking pretty good this morning when I came out. The, uh, the epoxy had done a great job. So I'll wait an hour, and I'll put it all back together. All right, it's time for your Colorado River Cellular Service Report. Well, T-Mobile takes the quick lead with 68 megabits per second. Pretty impressive. Uh, AT&T is second at 24.7, and Verizon coming in last at 21.3. All very respectable cell service signals, though, so you ought to be able to watch anything or listen to anything you want. Take care. We'll see you next time.